Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial. It might be long. Um, uh, going to be doing this fabric tag that I'm in a swap. So um, my swap partner, um, warning, <laughs> it's already too late. <laughs> don't don't look at it if you don't want to see it. This is what is going to be sent out. And well, well maybe the other one's going to be sent out too. I don't know. But this is totally the the the. Um, the swap is in textile collages, the um, Facebook group of Rosemary Morris. And it's, um, I think it's at least 50% you have to use fabric on two tags. But I did one totally with fabric. Now this is the fabric that um, I painted myself and then I would cut into strips for, you know, um, using for anything really. Um, I've done I've done boxes out of my homemade um, ribbons because then then I rip them up and they become ribbons you can call them and um, and I've had some pieces that are left whole now this has um, a whole bunch of dimensional paint on it as well too some glitter paint and then um, I started using some petals and um, I cut the things in strips and when as I was sewing it on I did um, I did it with uh, by hand now you can do this totally by hand I what I did here around is I did it with the sewing machine but can be done by hand as well too that's not a problem as well so how I started was I got um, a piece of baiting and you know, you can use fleece for this as well, too. If you're not a quilter or, you know, don't know anything about this stuff, you can also buy fleece and use it as your, on the inside. Now, this will be then added some fabric on the outside. But for now, I start sewing things together. Then I have a piece of ivory cotton. And then I have a piece of lace that I want to use as, you know, the background of, um, of the, the the tag so I have it here and I'm going to you know more or less um, make it this size it's the same size as this other one here um, I start off this way as well too I don't um, I work on a piece more or less where the tag is going to be and then I end up cutting it and finishing it off but we'll, we'll I'll show you as we go on and then what else I have here as well is I have all, a whole bunch of thread all threaded up already. I have another piece that I had done. Now this has no dimensional paint on it. It has some glitter paint. But it was a piece that I had started and I started finishing it off today just making it look a little bit you know, more colorful with some gold paint and some glitter paint. And I've already cut some strips here. And the strips are very easy to cut actually. You just cut the desired size you want out of it and then just tear it and that's how I get these pieces here that come out really cool because you know they start curling and everything as well too which is really cool and then you can even pull the threads if you want to make it look even more um, more more ripped more more uh, what would you say that less neater okay and then what I do have ready is some buttons um, I'm thinking of putting buttons on this I may not I have some sequences um, some more sequins um, some more sequins some beads uh, more beads here um, and then some more beads here as well too so I have loads of you know things that I can be using as well too and I think I have a little or maybe I put that away no I didn't I have it right here just in case I want more beads I have um, other beads here I I don't know how I'm gonna go about this yet so it's as we go nothing planned I don't want it the same as the other one exactly the same so I, I do want to do it a bit different so um, I started off by with these strips just lining them up now because I did this one with the strips going up and down I think I'm going to go with the strips going across this time so 
So I'm going to put this away. This We're going to need this big, big piece, bigger piece, not the whole thing. We're going to need this for the backing of it after. So I think I'm going to be going this way. Now, like I said, it's going to be more or less this way. So I should move it over just a touch. Make sure that I'm in frame. I hope the lighting's enough, you guys. I have a whole bunch of lights on. Um, so yeah, I'll start off this way. Somebody's making a whole bunch of noise in the background. I don't know if it's a TV or if my son playing the PlayStation. It sounds like the PlayStation. So these are the strips that I won't be using them all, but um, I want to try these. And then I have some threads already threaded up. Um, what I did, what I got today was um, an order that I put in for these beautiful threads. They have like a silky finish. I got this color and um, hmm, I got more batik fabrics, which I love because I'm making um, a project right now. And where are the autumn colors? Uh, as if I need another thread. Well, most of this thread here is thread that goes through my machine because I have a Singer machine, which is very delicate in with other types of threads. I don't know why, but I usually use Gudeman or um, or this type here. I think it's an Italian mark. Three, three, tre cerchi. Yeah, three circles. So. out of the way I just can't find I wanted to show you guys the autumn colors that I got too and then there was winter colors that weren't available but I will get them in the future but they are beautiful threads and I got these for the reason as well too is that you can quilt with these so um, I'm a quilter and uh, and uh, I like to you know I'm, I'm trying to learn how to quilt by machine because I've always quilted by hand up until now and this is what I've been making and that's why I ordered other batik fabrics. This method is called quilt as you go. So you prepare all of these. Um, so you're going to need two sizes of hexagons to do this. And then you turn the, the border over, and which is what we're going to be doing with this tag. It's the same method. And um, it's called quilt as you go, which is new to me. I just found out about it and I couldn't wait to start. And I had these fabrics in. And because I needed more for what I want to do, I ordered another pack of the, the fabrics as well to the, the petite fabrics. It's another type of color. They're all different types of colors as well too, which are beautiful. I can't wait to, I want to open this later on and look at them one by one. And I'm indecisive if I'm going to make a beautiful table runner and I'm thinking of using beads in, in these or, um, a bag. I'm thinking of a nice big summer bag. So I'll let you guys know what I decide to do after and probably show it to you. So these are then are all, um, they're turned and then sewn with the machine. I'm not a great sewer, you guys. I, I love doing it, but I'm not a good sewer. And then I um, attach them all by hand. They're attached by hand, which is really cool as well too. I think you can attach them by um, sewing machine using a zigzag but I'm not good at it so I didn't want to risk okay so this is the way I start um, I have some thread here I'm just gonna pick any color I threaded three different colors of thread and I get my first strip and I start just threading it through any which way and by at this time you can have your um, I'm gonna secure this better you can have all your you know your buttons and everything ready at this point because you can put them in as you go now oh. now what I did have difficulty with and I'm trying to figure out right now in my head how to go about this is that when I did this one here um, I had difficulty running the sewing machine along here where the beads were already attached and I thought well can I do it after no because I don't want the messy work showing 
on this side of fabric. So this fabric has to go in after the beads. So you just have to be careful and not to, this is why I say to make a template and more or less you want to, I want to start my beads more or less here. So that way, you know, um, I don't risk with the sewing machine going over it. So I'm going to start with some sequences. Where's the hole? And this is it has a whole bunch of threads because I didn't clean it up good enough. And then I want to put a bead in that. I'll open up a thing here. I'm just going to get a medium sized bead right now. Um, use all different sizes. Don't don't be worried about you know just using one side. And like I said, I'm not an expert, so I'm just, you know, doing it as I go. Um, your threads along the side here will be secured after with the sewing machine. But like I said, you can go along securing, you know, make sure that um, your threads are nice and secure because this will come apart if you're not careful. And then what I'd like to do is grab just the strip on its own and you know what I'm going to try to bring you guys down just a touch so I want to bring don't mind my hands I just grabbed the strip on its own and I kind of put the needle in and out of it because I want to kind of make it um, like that crumple it up another little bit Adds texture to the the tag. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to stick the needle in all three layers again. I was going to do this piece with black lace, but I just wasn't liking this fabric here with the black underneath, so I decided to go with the ivory. Okay, I'm going to get my beads again. Mm. Let's try some of these. I'm going to have problems with, with these beads. I know that the needle, they go through this, through my needle here. But um, it, with some of them, no. So I have to be careful on what I will be using. Just, you know, like, don't worry about it being messy. Actually, you know, it's kind of cool that it comes out messy that way as well, too. Now, let me see if these beads fit through this needle. And I wanted um, a pink one here. Yeah, not today. Let's see here. These are, these are obviously smaller than those ones. See if they go through. Oh, they did go through. Good, good, good. Get a purple one. Actually, no, it's red. No, you see, some of them don't go through. Um, let me find another another um, pink one here. Let's see if this one goes through. I don't know how they do it, but I see some videos where, you know, those, they just pick up those beads so fast. And, um, like I need a magnifying glass <laughs> to see these beads, let alone. Okay, I'm going to anchor that again. When I say anchor, I send the needle again all through the three layers. And here, I'm going to measure again. this on the side more or less I'll be stopping here because I want to give it a clean cut there so I'm almost at the end you know what there's a lonely bead here I'm gonna just stick her in through and that's it now the other one here that I had made already I had these beautiful gems that were probably taken off of something 
um, that were, you know, the ones that you sew on, and which I don't have anymore. I would love to have some of those to, um, see the problem with these fibers and tags and things is that your charms get tangled up with them if you're not careful. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one off here by just um, making a knot. And as you can see, this thread was green, but I have other threads here. I, I threaded um, a pink one and I threaded a blue one, I think. I'm using different threads. Okay. And this can be cut off as well, too. Then I'm going to get another one. I'm just going to make another knot on this thread here because I can still use it. Actually, you know what? I'll just keep it aside right now and I'll get the pink one. This is a bigger needle. I prefer a smaller needle. Okay, perfect. Get another strip. It can be a bigger strip. And start threading that through as well, too. Actually, what I prepared for this one as well, too, is um, some metal embellishments. Um, I want to try, like I found this, so I want to try um, sewing it on directly to the tag, and that'll be done before I close it up. Look at the sparkle here. Can you see that, you guys? Oh, look at that. Look what I found. Okay. I want to put one of these in. Nice leaf. I'm not worried about what goes on here because it's naturally not going to be washed. I'm going to put a couple of these sequences in a row. Like I said, you guys, don't worry about the thread looking ugly here. It actually adds to it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm, I'm not a perfect sewer, like I said, so I'm definitely not going to worry about it. I know I'm not doing it the proper way. Okay, I'm going to put in another, whoops, they're flying about in their sequence. And a little pearl. I'm using nice big ones as well too. I'll show it to you as soon as I get, I'll do that. Some of you are probably saying it looks like a big hot mess, but when it's actually finished, it kind of looks really cool. Um, okay, how about, no, I don't want to ruffle it up because it's ruffled up here. I'll probably ruffle it up going more into this space. Oh, you would know it would have been really nice here too, but I don't have little tiny ones. Um, little um, metal metal beads. Oops. Okay, my thread kind of got stuck there. Um, Okay, how about, I'm wondering about a button here. Oops, I lost her. Okay. There we go. 
Mexico. <clears throat> yeah, the weather here is starting to warm up. But, you know, in the house, I still feel a bit chilly. Like today, um, I had to wear a little jacket in the house. I put short sleeves on first thing in the morning. But um, when you're sitting still, when I'm sitting still, I kind of get kind of um, chilly. But yeah, we're probably expecting a really hot summer again. Okay, the button doesn't look bad there. You know, I was thinking if I could find any more of those little blingy things. But oh yeah, I do have one. They they are all the same color, but I will add it just the same. See if I can find another one. Um, this is kind of big. And I don't know if it has a hole in it. Here's another one. Oh, you see, I did have more. Okay. Now I'm going to ruffle it up a bit more. Okay. And then start again. Okay, it's the last thing I'll be putting on this side because we're already at the end of, you know, where you have to stop or else you're going to have problems. I'm probably going to do this with a sewing machine. If you're doing it by hand, you're not going to have any problems at all. Okay. And that's another one. I really like the leaf in there. Can you guys see that? Kind of looks really cool. I'm wondering if I should put another one here underneath the bling. Is that the right side? Oh, they're they're two. No, are they two sided? No, one side is more smooth than the other. So, Got caught. <sighs> I hate when that happens. Okay. Oh, that kind of looks cool. Show it to you in a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a spider! Where did you come from? A little tiny spider. Okay, that's what it's looking up, looking like up until now. See that? So I think I'm going to add another. I'm wondering if I should add... Hmm. You know what I did forget though is, um, let me see if I can find some here or else I'm just going to have to. Um, I'm looking at fibers, which is a really nice idea too to put um, in your, and yep. I found some. Today I was cleaning and I found some ribbon just hanging around and actually this has a little wire in it so I can kind of, I'm wondering, are you guys going to see this? I have to bring it up a bit. Okay, so here I'm wondering, what you know what, I'm just going to bring it out again because I'm worried that I'm going to go out of, out of camera. I'm wondering if, hmm, no, I'm not really liking that. 
going to cut this for now. There we go. Don't like that either. Um, I really liked in my first one that I had those petals, but I don't have them anymore. Not that type at least. How about this? Some eyelash. This is where I would love to know how to do live. And, you know, who's ever watching could tell me, no, don't put that. <laughs> yes, do that. Oh, I'm so indecisive, indecisive sometimes. And I'm not liking that either. I'm not liking that. I, I don't have the right color. That's what the problem is. So you know what? I'm going to continue on sewing it. And I'm just going to pull some strings here. Some thread. Okay. Get some more thread. Okay. Okay, I'm going to anchor it in like I did before. Like I said, don't worry about knots. Don't worry about anything showing. You could, you know, if you're worried about them, you could start from underneath and have the knots hidden underneath. But I don't care. I want it to be that messy type. Oh, you know what I could use, actually? Is some some lace right there. Okay, let me cut. This was off of a round doily, so it's kind of got a curve to it, but it's going to go in. Pull that. Let me anchor it before I put the lace underneath. You can add these these type of things after as well. You can even glue them on if you wanted to. Um, the lace and things like that. You can continue adding after. Then I'm wondering, um, too big. Yellow. Okay. I've been art journaling a bit more lately as well too. I've been doing my own cards and I just finished um, watching um, Stacy from Print Poodle Crafts and I finally, because with her she usually, uh, well not usually, um, I've seen that her pajama parties, I can't catch those because it's just too late for me. It's during the night for me. Okay, where did I have that? Um, here it is. I can't do this, you guys, without this. I just, um, my thread went out and, and these needles have such a small hole. Because naturally, you want the beads to go through them, so they have to be, I actually, I think this is a quilting needle, which um, they are very small, so. Come on. Be nice to me. This is what I didn't want to do during the video. <laughs> Thread needles. Because it takes me hours all the time. Oh dear. And like I said, I can't do it without um, the 
and I have all types of magnifying glasses. I even have one that wraps around my neck, which is really cool because um, when I'm when I'm doing like what I just showed you, the quilt as you go project, I usually need that to um, put in a couple of sequences again. I usually need, actually, you know what, I want to put in this color and then put the pink over it because these are nice and big. I need the, the, my magnifying glass, the one that wraps around my neck to, um, to do that work, kind of work as well too because you can't see. Okay, oh yeah, I like that. that up again. Okay. Don't want to lose my thread again. Okay. Um, hmm. Other beads. There we go. My grandson is growing. Well, he's already five kilos. He was born four kilos and three. Big baby. Um, if you want to know how many is that in pounds, you got to times it 2.2 times 2.2. And um, I'm wondering here. If it's going to. Yeah, I'm going to stop it here so that way. The lace is tucked under nicely and make a knot. Yeah, he's growing, he's smiling and he's a colicky baby. Yeah, she's, you know, not sleeping at nights as well too. But you know what? These things are normal. Can't really do much about it. Okay, I had prepared as well. I just want to secure it more, you guys, and make more thread show. I love the colors of these threads, even though you can see it very lightly, but I do love the colors of these threads. So I have here, let me put this away. It's one thing about these beads and things like that. My goodness, if you don't be careful, they're going to be all over the place. Okay, I had prepared as well this, so like you can also put this in and kind of wrap the thread around it. And I'm wondering if I should do that, but you know, see this is something I would like to, just a little strip of it, just to make sure that um, what happened before with the sewing machine is not going to happen again, because I almost broke the needle when I was doing it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, let's see what I can do about this now. If it works. Oh, you know what you can use as well too? Rickrack. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Rickrack. That would look awesome. Little Rickrack. Okay, I want to make sure that it goes around. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm a terrible sewer. <laughs> I don't know where this passion comes from doing um, quilting and things like that because <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I am very, very bad at it. I would love to be, you know, more neater, but hey, I'm not. And if, and if you know what, I wouldn't be doing this if, if um, I really cared. I'm not saying that my quilts come out bad. 
I'm, you know, just not the best sewer. If my kids rip something or, you know, they want something fixed, I, you know, tell them, I don't know how to do it. And they go, Ma, but you sew. And I go, no, I sew quilts. I don't know how to fix clothes. You know, I'll put the hems up on pants and things like that, you know, because that's pretty much easy for me. Um, not the ones done by hand. Those I prefer that when they buy, you know, good pants or something like that, that they get them done by the store because they'll do it for you here. Or, um, you know, I just send them to my sister because she has, you know, she has the seamstress at the store to fix the wedding dresses. Which this thing is probably from a wedding dress. Unless somebody sent it to me. If you guys recognize it, please tell me. I haven't gotten laces from the store in ages. In ages. I have to get some. I keep on reminding them, but I think they forget. Because they think um, that they have to give me big pieces. And I keep on telling them, I want tiny pieces. I don't care how big they are because I'll find use for them. Like... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I won't throw that away. I'll use it. Okay, you guys, to do this, I got three lights on. I got the overhead light on. And the, um, and two, two, two lights here going on. So, see, when I, if I turn this around, you guys are going to see a big hot mess of, you know, thread, which I don't care about because it will be covered. Give it another. That kind of looks cool because the thread is wrapping on the inside and you can see it. Anchor it down more. My little nephew's here. Nikki! Oh, he's gone. Okay. And that's done with the pink. Now, it kind of looks blah but, uh, right now, but once we have it all, you know, closed up, this is the back of it, which this is the, the baiting, you know, and I have lots of pieces that I could use, so I'm going to cut this excess away for now of the lace. Put the pattern on top. I call it a pattern. The cardboard, you know, pattern of uh okay and then cut around it so yeah it's going to be more or less like this I might have to cut a piece of that so I'm going to try to keep it as still as I could Um, I have terrible scissors, you guys. I can't find my my um, my sewing scissors. You know what? I should have turned this around. And again, I'm not going to see on the other side. And you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to turn it around again. Let's make it much easier. <clears throat> and just try to... This is a fabric pen, but you guys can use, you know, any any type of pen because... This will be covered up because I have it here on the go. Oops. And you won't see it, um, pen marks, so. Okay. There, that's much better. Um, I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cut right through it. Like I said, terrible scissors. Kind of like a crazy patchwork... Take. Okay. So 
actually looking pretty cool. I love when you cut it down and it, it gives it a whole different look. So what I'm going to do is put this aside for now. Grab this fabric here and more or less I want it to go where I kind of like it most. So what's going to happen is let's pretend this is a tag right now. You're going to turn this meeting the edge of the tag which it will be that one there and then you're going to turn it again like that and that's what's going to be you know close up your your things so you have to figure out more or less how much you need on the edge and this is fine with me so um i'm going to corner it up here this is fine this width here and eyeball it more or less what the rest of it is Cut straight through. Okay. And then Oops. Oh, I need good scissors, you guys. I have terrible scissors. Oh, dear. I don't think I really misplaced my fabric scissors. I think I accidentally used them for... And they ended up in, in this room for paper. So, yeah, I think I have to get a new pair and make sure that I you know, mark them up to make sure that they won't be used for paper again by mistake because I would happened to have another two pair of scissors similar to those ones that were old and I was using them for paper and they got mixed up with the rest of them. So, yeah, that's what happens when you're not careful. I'm not saying, I didn't have expensive scissors. They weren't expensive by any means, but they were scissors that were just for fabric and they didn't get dull. Okay, so this is done. And this is what you do. You put it in the middle here. And it's going to be all turned over like that. Right? Now what I did at this point is I put it, I stuck it underneath the sewing machine. And I just sewed it as I went on. And see? Now the, the other tag that metal tag that I want to add on, I am going to add that after because, um, yeah, I prefer adding it after. So I'm going to get my sewing machine. I'm sorry you guys aren't going to be able to see this because I have no way of um, preparing my sewing machine for this in a way that you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. So I just kind of hold it together. Whoever has a sewing machine and wants to do this, you know, by the sewing machine, I just pull it together. You can um, baste it if you want to at this point to make sure that, you know what, just bring it up just a tiny bit. And start sewing it. Rosario Tesoro, poi chiudere la porta là. Rosario, chiudi la porta per favore. I'm sorry, you guys. My son has his friends, and, and there's one that has a real big mouth, and he talks too loud. Okay, you see, I, I do it as I go, um, fixing up the, folding the, the fabric. Just going to help it along here. Okay. Lift the foot up and, oh dear, come on. 
Don't give me problems now. There we go. My sewing machine is kind of loud. It's not an old sewing machine. Um, I probably have had it for... Hmm. I'd say about 10 years. No, no, I'm sorry. What 10 years? What, 16 years. I've had it since 2000. So, 17 years. Okay. I just have to fix the corners. As you're turning the corners, it would be exactly like when you're if you're doing it by hand. As you're turning the corners, you have to help the folds. here no it didn't there was um that leaf going through it okay i'm gonna fix this corner up here i gotta bring my sewing machine in to get oiled and um, I, I did it once myself <laughs> and then I brought it to him because there was something wrong with it. And he said, please don't ever touch it again. Bring it here and I'll do it for free. <laughs> so every time, every six months or so, because I, I, do not, I don't use my sewing machine a lot, a lot. I, well, lately I have for the baby stuff, but um, yeah. <laughs> He said, no, no, don't ever touch it again. He said, you made a mess out of it. And I go, okay, I won't do it anymore. I'm just folding the other edge here. Come on. Oops. Back. Okay. Oh, dear. Come on. You know what? I'm used to um, using the sewing machine with my bare foot <laughs> and I have a shoe on. Let me take it off. Eh, there we go. And I'm accidentally um, touching the pedal wall. I'm changing position here. Now it's not coming out as good as my mine did. The first one did. And it just got caught with the lace. Okay, let me see here. If I can fix that. Yes, I can. Okay. That way I can continue. Continue here. And... We're almost done. Another fold. Cut these threads away. Right there. Did it come out terrible? <laughs> you guys are going to get a laugh out of this one here. This is, um, unfortunately, when um, doing the video, I kind of get a bit antsy because I don't want to be so long on it. And um, it naturally didn't come out as well as this one that I, you know, I measured more accurately and everything. But it does still look really cool so at this point I would put a hole in it I would prepare some kind of you know fibers to put it all together and um, like I said I really would like to kind of stick that there 
Um, okay, where did my thread go? Right here. How about pink? So it would be just, um, you know what, I'm not going to make a knot in this. I'm going to try to hold it, hold the thread, and then I'll just snip the end. So that way I don't have a knot on the other side. It's just going to be um, And this probably came from some kind of um, clothing tag. I have lots of metal clothing tags that are really cool. They came from jeans. This one I'm not sure where it came from, but I have lots of metal tags that came from jeans and they're really cool. And I want to start using this stuff up. Okay, I'm just going to cut that for now. That way I can sew the other side. So this is the back side, you guys, right here. Oh wow, my battery's almost already dead. Goodness gracious, that was fast. Dory, she's not snoring today. She usually snores. Oh, it's almost time to start fixing up dinner. Okay. Come on. Get in there. Did it go in? No, it didn't. It went on the other side. And then I'll I'll put um like I said, other charms, a metal charm and uh it would really would look nice as well too is um, who knows how to embroider. Can you imagine me trying to embroider? Yeah, right. No way. I I tried doing it once, silk ribbon, but um, I gave up pretty quickly. Okay. And I don't know how long I've been on for because I can't see with the I can't see for the life of me at the the um, the thingamajigger here. Yeah, it's been almost an hour, I think. Okay, look at how gritty my desk is, you guys. So there you go. Now just imagine this with some um, fibers and then some some um, little pearls and and some kind of charm hanging on to it and that's it oh, let me get rid of the needle here I'm really happy with those beautiful threads they are beautiful threads I really love the quality you know when you're sewing your thread starts knotting up oh it drives me crazy so there we go two tags done completely with fabric and um I could, you can go on adding here if you wanted to with, you know, rose petals or something like that. Um, oh, even flowers. Yeah, even flowers would look really pretty um, on this. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this video, that it wasn't too long and definitely not too boring. Um, and um, I hope you try it out. Until the next time, goodbye.